Another stage win for Germany's Andre Grapel. The sprinter collects her third success for this stage 13 in the Tour de France, just ahead of Peter Sagan. No change at the overall standing. Before that, the riders had to pedal the 217 kilometers between Saint Paul, Trois Châteaux, and Le Cap d'Agde. The stage is therefore long, but almost completely flat, except the short but steep Mont Saint Clair ascent, 23 kilometers from the finish line, about 10% grade. This difficulty should perfectly shake things up within the peloton. There's also a possibility to have crosswinds in the last part of the stage, allowing riders to try echelons. As usual, since the start of the tour, a break takes off in the first kilometers. Eight men drop the bunch, including Maxim Boy and Jérôme Pinot. In this breakaway are also featuring Denmark's Michael Morkov, a former Polkadot jersey holder, Roy Kovas of the Netherlands and Pablo Ortason of Spain. The breakaway group has a comfortable lead, over nine minutes at one point. Unlike yesterday, the peloton doesn't trundle, but instead starts to boost the pace. At the intermediate sprint at Le Mas de Londres, the gap is down to less than four minutes. The leaders don't really fight for the prime, and Ortason gets the batter first. In the pack, on the other hand, Peter Sagan hurries to outsprint Germany's Andre Greipel and Australia's Matthew Goss, his main rivals for the green jersey classification. The pack is getting closer and Morkov tries to resist by breaking away at the front, an effort to prove he's the man in escape in this 2012 Tour de France. Behind the expected echelons appear, forged by Cadill Evans BMC partners, as a result the bunch splits. The yellow jersey group manages to catch the runaways at the foot of the Mont Saint Clair climb and swallows a struggling Morkov in the ascent. Evans launches an attack to drop Wiggins, but the yellow jersey holder is vigilant. Shortly after the descent, two men try to clear off Kazakhstan's Alex Vinokurov and Switzerland Michael Abbasini. The escape maintains the suspense for about 10 kilometers until the Lotto Belisol lead-out train gets rolling, followed by the Maillot Jaune. Less than three kilometers from the finish line, the junction is made, and Wiggins himself stars as the lead-out rider for his teammate Wasson Hagen. But despite this dedication, Andre Grepo rushes to the stage win. The German outsprints Slovakia's Peter Sagan and now counts three successes in this tour.